if you have been getting fuzzy, heavy and slow articulation, you might be making one of these mistakes. Hi everybody, my name is Tatiana. This is the Flute Practice, a space to help you learn the flute and we usually do that with a good dose of fun. Today I'm going to give us a nice little list of things that can really affect our articulation. However, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you about some fun and exciting things happening at the flute practice that will help you to take this process a step further. Number one, you are tonguing in the wrong place in your mouth. I see this so unbelievably commonly. Sometimes students are tonguing kind of too far back in the mouth or they are tonguing like in the bottom lip somehow. I don't know how that works. Or they are tonguing not at all. They're kind of just uh, 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 kind of moving the tongue in space, but not actually connecting with any part of the mouth. The best place to tongue, in my very humble opinion, is in the little spot behind the front teeth. Right up there, in the same spot that you say to, do, nu, lu. The interesting thing about this spot is it's actually the most natural spot for us to be tonguing. It's also the spot that our tongue rests when we're just resting and doing nothing. Try it. If your tongue does not rest there, like I, I don't want to be an alarmist, but you, you might have a speech problem. <laughs> the other spot you could be tonguing, and I say could because this can go wrong if you don't know what you're doing, is doing the French tonguing that starts between the lips, where you put the tongue between the lips and you kind of pull it back. The second big mistake that I see is that students are using too much of the tongue to do their tonguing. So what happens here is that instead of just allowing the very tip of the tongue to efficiently move, they're kind of da -da 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 -da, getting the whole tongue to move. And as a result, the tonguing is getting very sluggish and heavy. Also, it can often sound quite almost like da -da -da, like you're thumping on a door rather than gently tapping on it. Tongue is actually a really big muscle in your mouth. It's quite surprising. So we just want that front little part to be gently tapping behind those teeth. A lovely image I've seen for this is to think of it like a hot plate where your tongue is just kind of touching that hot plate but if it keeps it there too long it's going to get burnt. So you're just gently tapping. Let's take a little break here. Why not play a few tongue notes on the flute and assess where in your mouth are you tonguing and how heavy is that tongue? Are you really just using the tip of that tongue or are you using the whole muscle. Thank goodness after 20 years my tongue is doing the right things there. Number three, the third big reason that people often struggle with their articulation is that they actually have a misconception about what articulation is and what its role is in flute playing. Some people have this idea that the sound is almost created with the tongue so we kind of kind of creating the sound from the articulation when actually the sound is created by the moving air which moves out of your lungs or out of your abdomen and is actually moved by your supporting muscles and supporting structures. So if you just do a you just kind of pulse the air out that is what is creating the sound. The tongue is just adding some definition to that sound kind of like the cherry on top when we realize this, we realize that the tongue is not as important as we think it is and as a result we can kind of release it and relax it and not make it work so hard. I find students that have this misconception, very often there's quite a strong attack, quite a t strong t sound, but the sound behind the note, the actual substance of that note is kind of missing. So if that's you, this might be what's going on. Another really common problem that I see with students is that they are tonguing too far back or too far forward, especially given the register they are playing in. Let me explain. The higher up on the flute you're playing, the more forward your tongue needs to be. So as I'm going up in the registers, I'm going to move that tongue more forward. As I'm playing lower on the flute, I'm going to move the tongue a bit further back. However, if you are tonguing too far back, even if you're in the low register, you are going to get quite a heavy, muffled sounding articulation where it sounds quite heavy and actually not very clear at all. If I bring the tongue a little bit more forward, gets a lot clearer. If I go in the higher registers and I'm tonguing in the same place as I did in the lower registers, again you can hear it's quite 
heavy and quite kind of that thumping sound that I spoke about. So we bring the tongue forward. And we get much more clarity in the sound. So make sure that your tongue is not too far back or too far forward. Also make sure it's in the correct place for the register that you're playing in. How are you going to find this? Well, you've got to play around with it. You've got to experiment and explore and discover what the ideal position for the tongue is. The last thing that I think we very often overlook when it comes to articulation is how your throat and tension in your throat and embouchure are going to affect the tongue. These are all really, really, really connected. And when we're tight in the embouchure and tight in the throat, the tongue is almost definitely going to be too tight as well. We want to have a really nice, released, efficient movement of that tongue. Any excessive tension, any excessive movement is going to get in the way. So if you know you're struggling with throat tension or a tight embouchure, then you might want to first go and work on those issues and then come back to your articulation. For those of you who maybe just have a little bit of throat tension, singing and playing is a great help. I always recommend it. And flutter tonguing is another really lovely little technique to help release and relax the tongue if you've got a very tight tongue. So, which of these issues do you struggle with? If you struggle with any of these issues, then I want to invite you guys to join us in June for our Articulation Month. We're going to be doing this in our practice club. This is a community of flute players from around the world. We have little practice challenges and additional resources, but we are also going to be doing a course together as a community this month. This is a three week program that really helps you to dive into and dig into some of these issues and resolve them. We also have a workshop, a live workshop coming up on the 11th of June. We've dropped some links down below in the description so you can go and check out the course and the workshop and of course our practice club community. Happy practicing everybody and I'll see you next time.